Okay, last but not least, we have part C. I think everyone by now agree. What is the thing that's obstructing us? The square root. What do you need to do? Square the whole thing. So, that's what I will do. Square the whole thing. Agree? Agree? Anyone did this? Correct what? Square the whole thing. I carry your square root, right? Okay, that's what I saw or anticipate in most of y'all. But this is not the best choice. You know why? Okay, I show you once first. Huh? If I make use of this choice, I need to use identity. Meaning, A minus B bracket square. Can you see this is my A? Can you see this is my B? Then what happened? A square minus 2AB. So Luffy, you should be very good with this one already. Yeah? Correct? Oh, my A, when I square it, the square root is gone. Agree? My B, when I square it, the square root is gone. Eh? But the A and B multiply together, the square root is still there. Am I right? Square root A times square root B, the square root is still there. So I did not solve the problem yet. Then you tell me, never mind, square one more time. Whoa. Very long. So that is why I say this is not the most efficient method. Not wrong, but not the most efficient. But if you are careful to take a look at it, there's one other method that will make this easier. Any suggestion? Factorize. Ah, bring over one of the term on the other side. You see, it's as simple as balance one of the term on the other side. So there is one square root on each side. Then, the moment you square it, the square root is gone, right? Ah, then we don't need to deal with it anymore. So whenever you have square root term like this, balance the square root term on both sides. Then you square it. But take note, the square is applicable to the number 3 as well. What is 3 square? 9. It becomes very doable. Am I right? In fact, if you are aware of this trick, it's easier than the other two. Why? There is only one answer. So if there's only one answer, do I need to worry about rejecting any solution? No need. But whenever you have more than one answer, you need to double check if both the answer are acceptable. Sometimes it could be both are acceptable. Alright? Ah, so this is just a trick that you need to take note of. Balance the square root on each side of the equal sign. 